So when we think about an aqueous solution of an acid, there are two sources of hydronium ions. The acid, being an acid, produces hydronium ions in solution. But there's also hydronium ions from the autoionization of water. So the acid is going to release hydro hydrogen ions that become hydronium ions and the water itself. Most of the time, we can ignore this because that concentration is 10 to the minus 7. It's very small. And so unless we're dealing with extremely dilute 10 to the minus 5 molar, we can just ignore that because adding it on to the acid from, or the hydronium from the acid just doesn't make a difference. So by definition, strong acids ionize completely. So then the concentration of hydronium ion is the same as the concentration of the acid. So HCl, we put that in water, and we would draw just a single arrow because it's a strong acid. This reaction will go essentially completely to the product side. If we start with 0.1 moles per liter of HCl, all of this converts into hydronium ion, and we end up with 0.1 molar hydronium ion. And the chloride ion concentration is also 0.1 molar. And we would say this has a pH of, of 1 because the negative log of 0.1 is 1. Now, weak acids get more interesting. And we're going to have a lot of ice tables here. So to calculate the hydronium ion concentration of a weak acid means solving an equilibrium problem. We're going to assume that the initial hydronium ion concentration is essentially zero. You notice we don't say it's equal. We've got approximately zero because it's 10 to the minus 7. And most of the time, adding or subtracting that from something else is so small it doesn't matter, right? It's like if you took a, um, a big truck full of fruit to the, the, the scales and weighed it, right? Maybe oranges are shipping out this time of year. Would it make any difference to the mass of that truck if you took one orange out of it? No. It doesn't matter at all. And so the same thing here with the autoionization of water. So here's our ice table, I, C, E, initial change, equilibrium. So this would be for that um, 0.1 molar acid. A 0.1 molar acid, we're starting with this initial of the acid itself. And this is zero, essentially zero, and that is zero. Then a change is going to occur. This is going to go down by an amount x. These will both go up by x. And the equilibrium is just the sum of those two boxes up there. 0.1 minus x. This will be x, and that will be x. And then we can write an equilibrium constant expression, a Ka expression for this, and we can solve all kinds of fun problems. So find the H3O plus concentration of a 0.250 molar hydrofluoric acid solution. Ka equals 3.5 times 10 to the minus 4. 